what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a romance horror film, The Couple. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a man and woman having a romantic night together. They're lying on the ground looking up at the stars. The woman, Aeon, is very pretty and has short hair. She smokes a cigarette while her husband, Karn, kisses her neck. She giggles happily and looks at him affectionately. Eventually, the two stand up, and it is shown that they are both wearing formal attire. Then Karn's phone lights up with messages from someone looking for him. The two walk out of their secluded spot and enter the open area, where their lavish wedding reception is being held. Karn's older sister is angry with them for disappearing in the middle of a party, where they are the guests of honor. The sister has an intimidating face and doesn't really appear to be welcoming toward Aeon. She wastes no time ordering the newlyweds to take a picture with family members. The older brother joins them, but his wife, Sita, is missing. Later on, they show a video montage of Karn and Aeon's sweet moments together. But the sister cuts the video short because one of their special guests, the minister, has to leave early. Aeon feels disrespected by Karn's sister as she leaves the stage. She then seeks solace in the nearby house. Karn's family owns a very large property, and they decided to hold the wedding on the grounds. Aeon sits down on the couch and lights a cigarette to calm down. As she exhales, she notices that a framed picture has fallen from the collection on the wall. She puts it back and then goes further up the stairs to investigate the noise she heard. Aeon walks through the hallway and calls out Sita's name, thinking it is probably her in the house. No one replies, so she enters Sita's bedroom at the end of the hall. Inside, she traces the creaking noise to the bathroom. Near the door is a gold ring, and she picks it up and places it on the sink. Something is moving behind a shower curtain, and when Aeon opens it, a dead body of a girl falls on her. The weight of the corpse causes Aeon to fall to the floor with it on top of her. She recoils in horror, and the body rolls away from her, the back facing Aeon, so she can't see who it is. Slowly, the broken neck swivels and reveals the bruised face of Sita, her dead eyes staring at Aeon. It turns out Sita had hung herself in her bathroom. Aeon cannot take the shock and loses consciousness on the floor. The family buries Sita later. The sister is businesslike in arranging the family's affairs. She tells Karn that she expects him to help out in their family business. Karn has long avoided their company, but Sita's death means that he has to step up and be more responsible. Aeon does not like that Karn is being forced to work in the family business, but she says nothing. Karn visits their factory with his brother. The brother reveals that their factory is not doing well, and they acquire huge debts just to keep the business running. The company secretary urges Karn to secure the minister's projects so they could improve their financial situation. This is the same minister who spoke at their wedding, and he is a rich and powerful man. But the brother disagrees and says he doesn't want to be partners with the minister. That afternoon, the three remaining siblings take their photo in front of the factory in commemoration of Karn joining the company. Afterward, he tells his sister that they should bid for the minister's project and he will personally lead the negotiations. But Aeon is not happy that Karn will be leaving her alone to focus on his family's company. She hasn't been feeling well since the night she discovered Sita's body and she's been stressed about launching her own dress shop as well. She is hoping that Karn will be there to support her, but his priorities have now changed. He tries to comfort and assure her that this arrangement will only be temporary. That night, Aeon is alone in their apartment, working on a dress. She is surprised when her own foot acts on its own accord and presses the pedal for the sewing machine. She thinks she's just tired, so she stands up to take a break. The apartment is dark, and there are bolts of cloth and dresses hanging everywhere. One of them is the red dress she had made for Sita to wear for the wedding. It is the same dress she was wearing when she killed herself. Aeon looks at the red dress and doesn't notice that the mirror behind her is showing Sita's reflection. She loses consciousness and crumples to the floor. She wakes up later and sees Sita's pair of red shoes right beside her. Disturbed and afraid, she realizes that she is no longer in the apartment but someplace new. Aeon calls out for Karn and steps out into the hallway, but an unseen force drags her back and she loses consciousness again. Meanwhile, the sister is staying late at the office in the factory. She hears a crashing noise coming from what used to be Sita's office. She goes there and discovers Aeon lying on the floor unconscious. The sister puts Aeon on the couch and calls Karn. She is concerned because the security camera footage shows that Aeon walked to the factory, looking like she was not herself. But both Karn and his sister have a dinner meeting with the minister, so they leave Aeon to the care of his secretary, who has been a close friend of their family since they were children. The minister is a very arrogant and pompous man. He sits at the head of the table, puffing a cigar as one of the staff serves them fish. The sister knows his personality well and plays along with his chit-chat. 
Bacarn brings up the topic of the project early on, and the minister finds that distasteful. The sister glares at Karn and signals for him to just follow her lead. Suddenly, Aeon walks into the restaurant, wearing Sita's red dress and shoes. She appears to be more confident and sultry. She sits down next to Karn and stares at the minister with rage in her eyes. The minister takes this all in stride and welcomes Aeon to his home. Aeon's foot begins to vibrate, and she gets a strange look on her face. The sister freezes as she sees Sita's reflection on the shiny dining table. Aeon suddenly leaps and attacks the minister, bashing his head against the table a few times with inhuman strength. He retaliates by burning Aeon's hand with a cigar, but this does not deter her. His security guards step in and apprehend her, as the rest of the restaurant's guests look at them curiously. Karn and his sister take Aeon to the hospital. As she is being wheeled to an examination room, she says that Sita made her attack the minister. Aeon is taken to an MRI room to be scanned. Outside, the sister tells Karn that the secretary contacted a medium, who said that unless the spirit's unfinished business is completed, it will not leave Aeon's body. While she's in the MRI machine, Aeon sees Sita's spirit floating on top of her. She cannot move or scream, as Sita comes closer and closer. Karn takes Aeon home, and she dozes off in the armchair behind him. But when he turns back, Aeon is no longer there. He catches her trying to go out the door, and with the same inhuman strength she displayed earlier, she tackles and locks him in a room. Her hand starts to twitch uncontrollably, and no matter how hard she tries, her body does not obey her. Aeon looks up and sees Sia's reflection in the mirror, instead of hers. Karn breaks the door open, and rushes inside the room. He suddenly has a realization that the cigar burn that the minister inflicted on Aeon looks familiar. He had previously seen his brother and Siba together in a room, and his sister-in-law had a cigar burn on her back as well. Karn quickly calls his brother and sister, and he heads to the minister's house. There, he confronts the minister about his relationship with Sita. The minister remains unperturbed, and reveals that it was Karn's brother and sister who had sold Sita to him, in exchange for giving their company the much-needed project. The sister goes back home, and is terrorized by an apparition of Sita. She runs to an elevator, but is strangled to death. Karn tries to help her, but it's too late. On the way to bring his sister's dead body to the factory, Karn passes by the minister's dead body. He had fallen from the top of a building. When he looks up, he sees a glimpse of Aeon. When he arrives, the brother confesses that the minister had initially demanded money, so he would give their company the project. But since they had no money left, the sister ordered Sita to go to the minister. Sita did not know that she was sold by her own family, and felt trapped in her horrible situation. Even the secretary knew about this secret, and did nothing to save Sita. On the night of Karn and Aeon's wedding, Sita announced to the minister and her two siblings, that she would expose their treachery to all the guests. The minister got angry, and slammed her head on the table, immediately killing her. The brother screamed in anguish, and the minister pointed a gun at his head. The sister begged for their lives, and assured the minister that they won't say anything. So the minister's security guards hauled Sita's body into her bathroom, and made it look like she committed suicide. Now, she has come back as a spirit by possessing Aeon's body, to take revenge on everyone who had wronged her. Karn is understandably angry with his brother for letting everything happen. He storms out, and finds his wife inside the office. She seems to be back to her true self, and she cries when she realizes the horrible things Sita made her do. Karn holds her close and comforts her. While they are hugging, Aeon gets possessed again, and she grips Karn's body tighter. He manages to extricate himself, as Aeon's body contorts and her eyes turn black. With her strength, she throws Karn across the room. The lights go dark inside the factory. The brother grabs a gun from his desk drawer to protect himself. The secretary sees Aeon standing on top of the stairs, and she shrieks, bumping into Karn, who is holding a flashlight. A moment later, Aeon disappears. Karn asks the secretary why Sita still hasn't left Aeon's body, and she sadly answers that her vendetta is far from over. The secretary confesses that she was the one who chose Sita as an offering to the minister, because she preferred to keep the sister safe. Since Sita is just the brother's wife, and not a real member of the family the secretary had helped raise all those years, she believed that Sita was expendable. This makes both the secretary and the brother complicit in Sita's suffering under the hands of the minister, and Sita will not stop until everyone who hurt her is paid with their blood. A shadow suddenly appears in front of the glass door of the office they are hiding in. The secretary uses her body as a shield, and a bullet pierces her body. The shooter turns out to be the brother, who is seeing Aeon behind the door. The brother runs to another part of the factory, where he is cornered by a possessed Aeon. However, Karn knocks her out, and Dee then helps his brother stand up. But Aeon quickly recovers and grabs Karn back. She chokes him, then throws his body from the second floor. 
Aeon turns her attention to Karn's brother. She hangs him from the ceiling with a rope, but Karn manages to climb up and stop her. He puts her in a chokehold, and doesn't stop even after she lets go of the brother. Brother falls to the floor and doesn't wake up again. Eventually, Aeon loses consciousness too. Dawn rises, and Karn is still in shock over what happened. Like a robot, he picks up his brother's body, and stuffs it inside a wooden coffin. He then pushes the coffin into the same compartment, where his sister's body is. A flashback reveals that Siga had begged her husband to sell the factory, so they could move away from his family. But the brother's pride kept him from doing so. And when Sita's body was hung in the bathroom, she woke up minutes later with her husband right in front of her. He refused to help her and walked away, leaving her to die by herself. In a poetic twist, Karn's brother wakes up inside the coffin, but Karn has no idea that he is still alive. He suffocates inside the plastic bag that Karn put him in, dying alone like his wife Sita did. Karn instructs two workers to weld the entrance to the compartment shut, sealing the corpses of his brother and sister inside. With two nooses in his hand, he steps out of the factory, and walks toward Aeom, who is standing under a large tree. Sita had finally left her body, and she is left reeling by what her body had done the previous night. The movie ends with Aeom silently crying as her husband walks closer, but with hate in his eyes. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.